Welcome back to another Civilization 6 video. Well, you might notice something right off the bat. That's right, no starting warrior. You might be thinking, what's going on? Well, I have to tell you this thing. <laughs> something mysterious is going on. I wrote another mod that creates a ring of volcanoes around wherever you settle your capital city. Now let me quickly reload the game to update these graphics. This some little volcanoes around your capital and no warrior. Pfft, that seems pretty easy for a DD challenge. Well, there's more. I installed another mod called Catastrophic Disaster Intensity. This mod adds a fifth disaster intensity setting. We are in for a treat. With this DD challenge, we have to somehow win this game. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? One's already, one's already active. I do have a game plan, okay? I did make sure this is in the second ring so we can build an encampment on the third ring. However, the encampment, when you build it, will only spawn military units out there. So there's the first eruption, no big deal. Oh, fertilizer tiles outside. I guess we do have another mountain <laughs> one of our borders. Ooh, this is pretty bad. Here's another eruption. So, so the issue is if you build a settler, even if you have encampment outside of your city, it'll spawn it in your capital. If you build a worker and you have an encampment, it'll still spawn your worker inside your capital. So the only way to actually Look at all these tiles. Please fertilize these ones inside here. The only way to actually expand is we need to build a cabinet and build an army. Build a strong army, take over some city state. The next problem here, let's go ahead and pre-build a scout and then a warrior, is taking over city states on Didi, well, they have walls. So you, like, you might be thinking, oh, okay, you can just build the battering ram. Piece of cake, right? No, not piece of cake. <laughs> this is... Whenever you build a support unit, they go right in your capital too. Look at that tile. Oh, we'll make sure you're working that. So the only way to actually take down the walls for... <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Again? Oh, man. Okay. So the only way, way to really take down the walls is we need to use archers. Now we finished bronze working. Let's go. Do we have any iron? I can't see what's over here. Uh, you know, it would be nice if we had iron. Do we? But we don't. Probably don't have any horses either. Unless they spawn like on this tile. Because all the other tiles are not. I guess horses can spawn in this tile. Because it's just a grassland. But like all the other tiles they can't really spawn on. So we have to think. We have to buy We have to buy this tile. Okay. This is 80 gold. This would be the best deal. Is buying one of these. However... This is 50, and I'll probably be 80. Ooh, so that's 130, and we do not have 130 gold right now. I think we can wait a few turns. Let's go ahead and buy this one. I'm probably gonna buy this grassland here, and I'm really hoping that we get really lucky and like horses or something spawns on it. Oh! <gasps> wow. This is, this is like, what? This is absolutely like perfect. They haven't even discovered anybody else. So we're the first ones there. They want a government plaza. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely build the encampment somewhere over here. Is this on fire? Burning woods, yep, it's on fire. Goodness, <laughs> another eruption. I don't know if our capital is actually gonna get above like five population. Ooh, look at these tiles though. We just got enough gold. Do, okay, now we do we want to do the desert or let's do the grassland and hope for some horses. Let's go ahead and place this encampment and start building it right away. Come on, horses, horses, horses. How many more eruptions do you think we'll get in two turns? None. What's going on? Okay, we discovered horses. There are horses. It's up here. Oh, we're so close. Oh, is this another city-state? It looks like it. No way. Look at that campus spot. Holy smokes. Man, this is this is ridiculous. I am liking this game so far. Now, I just don't have to... I just can't screw it up. <laughs> Alright? That's the plan. There's an eruption. That's okay. A pretty tame one. I'm surprised that the Zulu are in this game. Oh, no. Let's not do the scout. We'll be working on the slinger. Okay? I almost messed things up. I do not want to actually build a slinger and upgrade it with gold, primarily because normally when you take over one of these cities and you're in a dark age, you're gonna lose it. And if you lose it, you don't have enough time to build a settler and you don't have a second city. 
So what I want to do is start saving up all my gold to get 320 or 350 it is, 320, so we can buy a settler in that city. So that's why I just finished archery, and I made sure that we were working the uh, slinger, because then it automatically upgrades it to an archer. If we were not doing that, we actually lose our production. <laughs> you know, the slingers is gone, and we don't have any production to an archer. Because I've had that happen before to me, and it is it is awful. Scout the city. Have the barbarian come out. Oh, there we go. This is perfect. And done. Let's just pet you. Pet the dog. Okay, now we'll delete you. Oh, man. All right. So we lost a few turns. Oh, but we saw this. Our campment was damaged. Uh, if that's uh, damaged, maybe that's why we actually didn't bring our scout out there. That's probably why. Wow, all the ones are gone with the uh, faith and agency bonuses. Fertility rights is there. Oh no. The one we really, really wanted, God of the Forge, is gone. God of the Forge is plus 25% production towards ancient and classical units. And that's exactly what we really wanted. <laughs> Alright, Fire Goddess it is. Let's just make these tiles absolutely crazy. As for spending the faith on something, I don't know, we'll find something to send it on. Are you kidding me? Again? Delete. Okay, this is this is going pretty bad right now. This encampment keeps getting damaged. We'll go for Liang, obviously. Why do we want Liang? Well, because of the reinforced materials promotion. The city's improvements, buildings, and districts cannot be damaged by environmental effects, aka eruptions. This is our plan. We're gonna build a bunch of spearmen and upgrade them to pikemen. And honestly, instead of buying a settler. We could just buy a banner ram over here. There's our first warrior outside of our territory. Gohokia, Shaka. So Shaka's in the north. Oh, they're right there to the left. That's Shaka, 100%. Hopefully they go to war with us. That'd be cool. A uh, hundred year flood? <laughs> oh, look at these tiles. The volcanoes probably not supposed to be in floodplains. <laughs> they're still volcanoes, but they look like the graphics look super weird. Perfect. That was the last two population. Man. But this is good for us. Can we get rid of this thing? We can. And the encampment? So good. Plus four, but like look at that tile. We can go to <laughs> plus four, but I don't want to get rid of that tile either. So many good tiles going on here. I just want to get rid of that so I can actually look at the tile. That's yeah, much better. I think next turn we'll go to war with the city state. Let's do it. Declare war. Uh, it's gonna take probably like 30 turns for us to actually do some damage against like this stuff. There, right, we got one warrior done one turn. Uh, no, we're not welcome to visitors. Ouch. Well, we can take down a warrior one every turn though. And get like a lot of XP, like that four XP a piece, that's so good. So in terms of our next city, I don't know where we're gonna found it. Maybe like down here somewhere, cause it'll have this 10 food tile? Oh. That would be really, really good. And we can also found cities up here. Take over the city-states. And we got 19 out of 19. We secured a nice normal age next era. Let's go for military tradition now so we can get the nice flanking bonus. We're going to go for olig oligarchy for the plus combat strength with our melee units. Let's definitely go for conscription. Wow, this one almost died. That would have been tragic. We can attack here now. And go here. Move this one over here. Now the city's under siege. And we can actually do damage to it. Right now they have 89 out of 100 fortification health. We bring it down to 71. It's gonna take a few turns. It's gonna take it's gonna take a few turns, alright? Let's go ahead and promote you. Plus seven defense or seven uh combat strength right there. There's another archer. Bring you into the battle. Let's see how much more damage this normal one does now. This upgraded one, minus 10. Okay. I mean, that's okay. I think we're pretty good now. 333, we have enough to buy a settler. So if we buy a settler, man, I can't, like, I guess we could found it over here. I would, I wouldn't mind, honestly, founding one down here. It'd be such a crazy city. Because it's like, you got one tower to work, and all the rest are just garbage. <laughs> oh, but we could also found it like on top of the iron, which would be really, really good. A oh, small gentle eruption, no big deal. Okay, 
Four, nice four archer attacks. We can take the city over. Let's do it. Turn 72, we have our second city. Okay, George is not happy. I don't really care what you think. And we're not losing any loyalty. Yes. We actually get to keep the city. We're honestly 15 science per turn. 20 for Georgia, 22 for Indonesia. They obviously do They do really, really bad science. Shaka is the one we got to worry about. 50 science per turn already on turn 72. We have so many options available now because we have horses up here. When if they're... Like, when their capital's borders, which is absolutely crazy. We have iron to the east. I think Indonesia or Georgia is to the north. Let's see. I think it was this one. So Georgia is to the north. They currently have 410, and Georgia is 100% having walls, which is not cool. Not cool, Georgia. So I do like going for warriors with the battering ram. Let's go ahead and buy our settler. And we'll just spawn this one right here. I think our next attack... I really wish there was something to the right here. Cahokia is kind of tough to get. Because of the mountain range to the left. I mean, let's just do it. I mean, declare war. We're here to... <laughs> we're here to win the game, right? Not just uh, not win the game, I guess. And we have a couple of spearmen here, which should be really, really good against this heavy chariot. Wow. <laughs> this is... This is... This, this is amazing. This is amazing. If you want to actually play this map after I found my first city, it'll be on the Discord. Uh, also, if you want to play the mod, you can actually download the mod yourself. Oh, there's Indonesia right to the south of Zulu. I feel sorry for you. Are they at war? Of course. Well, actually, no. They're at war with somebody else. Man, I feel like we're doing okay. Turn 78. Meteor shower? Um, thank you? <laughs> what? What game? So let's go found our, our first real city right here and go ahead and build this iron mine. We'll make sure, okay, we still have a little bit of a gap, so we will not finish iron working once we finish this. Right? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, we did get some envoys though. We're at 27 out of 33. We only need six more error score. Ooh, eight turns. Six more error score for Golden Age. We will not be getting this great general. How do we get six more error score? Become suzerain of Brussels? That would be an option. We need two more envoys. Or really one more envoy. And that will give us three. Um, encampment will give us two and then we need one more. Is it worth it? To actually get a Golden Age. Yes, it is, 100%. Because we're getting decent faith generation per turn, so we can buy some settlers and really expand. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so glad we actually took uh, whatever this one volcanic soil one is. Let's figure it out. Fire goddess. Yes. Okay. We 100% need a golden age. Also, if we find the other AIs, I mean, I know they're to the left. Okay, we're not getting this uh, encampment anymore. Or I could do the encampment. I'm going to do the encampment training. I just want to make sure, hopefully, we'll actually get a nice golden age. Six turns, yeah. So, discipline, because we've got some swordsman barbarians that are issues. Colonization, because they're building settler. And diplomatic league, so we only have two envoys, but we'll get three and become suzerain of a city state. So, now we can go to Brussels. Up here. It's two, three. Ooh! Look at all the map we discovered. Tamar, wow, Tamar's way up there. And now we can actually see the north of Cahokia and stuff. 30 out of 33. Where was the other th three air score coming from? <laughs> um, five for the encampment training now? How is this possible? So we can levy this military. Brussels. 300 gold for one, two, three, four, five warriors? That's actually pretty good. We have to get this encampment. So we only have... Okay, good, it didn't die. Good, it didn't die. Good, it didn't die. <laughs> Should we try to sneak by? Crap. We're not getting that encampment, are we? We still need three error score. 333 faith. Wow, oh, Zulu, eight great general points per turn. That's crazy. So one for levying the military. Three if it's lured by faith. More than half of the recruitment cross. So that is not the case anymore. 
But I still think you get two for a great person. Or maybe... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's only one. Okay, so we're one short. And it's all thanks because we can't get this encampment. Maybe we'll be able to sneak in there somehow. I don't know how they, like, just spawned all their units. It's not very cool. It's not very cool of them. Scout's gone. Let's see. You know two more AIs. If we discover the other two AIs, that's enough. That's two error score. What do we have? Two turns. We lost, uh... No, the Spearman's over here. There's one. We're at 31 now. We need two more. Next turn, we'll be able to buy this great general with faith. I would rather not have to do that. I guess we could do this. This is an extreme waste of gold. Actually, you've been upgrading stuff to Swordsman now? 520. We barely have enough. But those Swordsmen with like a battering ram here, we could take over Kohokia pretty easily without any of our units. I wish we could levy Brussels and take over their city with their units. That would be actually perfection. Well, let's go ahead and buy you. 32 out of 33. We need one more air score. This is the last turn. We 100% need this, so let's go levy you. 33 out of 33. We did it. It's actually a heroic age because we're in a dark age, I think. Look at how bright the map is. This is absolutely crazy. Let's go right here, and we're going to pillage this next turn. Let's start bringing all of our units down. I have a lot of units all of a sudden. For our dedication, heroic age. Obviously, we're choosing money mentality. <laughs> there we go. But we did spend all of our faith. So we got that going for us, too. <laughs> Three dedications. Uh, can we get a religion anymore? No. All right, so basically, we spent everything <laughs> to get money mentality, and now we can't buy anything. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, right? Just perfect. Pillages 100%. 113 gold. That is so good for us. And we'll be upgrading this unit. So we need, we need a lot of gold, honestly. Buy the battering ram right here. We're definitely going after Kokia. That's it. No, no, uh, no mercy. We're still going after him. Wow, seriously? <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't blame him. Look at this style. Four, 12 food. Just crazy. That is just insane. 110 gold we need to upgrade this thing. Let's go ahead. Come on, Christina. Come through. 47 and 1. 54. Oh, we can do 54. That's fine. Our first legitimate swordsman. Our first one. I mean, by legitimate, it's ours. It's all ours. Down here... Things are going okay, I guess. We got the units coming down to the south. We have to make sure we spent our gold wisely. I kind of wish we were getting more faith. Ouch. We need two more iron and then a lot more gold. 6, 47, 27. We'll do 47. So then we'll have another swordsman and we'll go in there with everything that we can get. This one has a promotion. Let's switch places here. Attack. Bring the battering ram in. This in. You still got two movements. We go here. Promote you. Oh, no combat strength penalty. Oh, that's so good. Let's see what Kyokia does. Okay, they went for the archer. That's totally fine. Are they? Oh, they're at War Georgia. Interesting. Let's go in here. Battering ram. Thank you. Let's do some damage. Sure, we'll do some damage to that thing. It's a it's a you know unit that's free anyway, so I don't really care. There we go. Wall's gone. Let's attack there. Well we can heal. And we can get 122 gold. I'd rather get all that stuff. Let's go ahead and take this city over. Gahoki is ours. Rebellion 13 turns. I think that's fine. Four. That's totally fine. We'll keep this city. Um, probably walls. <laughs> well, let's do monument first and granary and repair some stuff, and then we're definitely getting walls. We're healing with these units, and we are bringing them down. Bringing them down to Zulu, I think. I think we're going to go towards the Zulu. I don't like all these great generals they have, and they're getting 95 science return, so they're like, they are absolutely crushing it right now. 
if we actually upgrade our stuff to men at arms, oh, which we will be doing two turns, and we have two swordsmen up here and a pikeman, that's going to give us a huge advantage against a Zulu. What's going on? So I'm back. It has been, oh no, actually like four days <laughs> since I played last. And we took over Kyokia. And I think everybody's going to denounce us next turn because everybody hates us. Let's go to war with Shaka. That's what we decided last time. So I'm going to upgrade some swordsmen in two turns to men at arms. And then we're going to go after, I think we're going to go after this city. They do have a wall here, but we have battering ram, so that shouldn't be a problem. This city is just is kind of a pain to get to. They get to the encampment here. They don't have walls. It's 10 population too. It's tempting. It's tempting to go for either one of these. I think I'm still going to go for the northern one. Good idea, actually. Let's see here. Let's see if we can declare friendship. <laughs> yes. So they actually do... Do they hate us? 100 grievances is against us. So it hasn't registered yet, that the grievances penalty. So... <laughs> we can become friends with them before they denounce us, and that'll help us out a lot because we need to trade everything, basically. We are losing our diplomatic favor, minus one per turn, so we're trading it all right now. If you look here, they have one, two, three, four, they have five cities, but we have iron and they don't. And I am wondering, so they have 450 military strength. They also have an industrial zone right here, so they can easily have men in arms, but their garrison defense strength for the city is only 30, so that means I believe they're heavy... Heavy Chariot is the strongest unit. So if they don't have any iron, this is a perfect time to strike, especially since they have 95 science per turn. Just ridiculous. I also thought about our capital. We have six population. We have four workable tiles. So um, we need to buy some additional tiles around here. We first need to save up our gold uh, upgrade, or at least our two swordsmen. As for this settler, I actually do think maybe we should go right here. I am liking that. So if we put a settler there, we'll have this. We'll be closer to the city down to the south. Maybe we can get a nice trade route here to get a nice road. So we have to build two campus districts. So we will once we get two campus districts, we'll get recorded history. So I want to go up here, games, recreation, defensive tactics. So we can go for feudalism as soon as possible. And it's another reason why I wanted to go after this city is they have a campus. This one down to the south does not have a campus yet. It's under construction. But, you know, we might take the city over before they actually finish it. Okay, <laughs> there's one denouncement. There's another one. Yeah, the whole world hates us. Ah, uh, there's Shaka. City state emergency against Cahokia. We only got one vote. Oh, this could be bad. Yep, there it goes. It passed. All right, we're at war with Shaka. That didn't take long. That's definitely upgraded units. 150 gold. It's not too bad. Four, oh, 110 to seven. Bear, bam, look at that. We already have plus, we, like, okay, so we just sold our you know, amenity or whatever for 110 plus seven. And we bought two more for like 24 and three gold per turn. So it's so much better to like kind of sometimes sell your luxuries and just buy them from the AI. I am definitely worried about this taking over the city now. Ooh, they got a trebuchet too. We're gonna attack here. Two, I'd love to get 240 gold, 49 gold, 10 more gold. It's eight, five, perfect. Let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. We'll move it over here and then upgrade it. I don't feel like attacking. This unit's going to take one, two, three attacks. It's probably gone. And hopefully these won't take any damage. And then we can come in here, one, two, three. We can attack there, attack there, and hopefully get the walls gone. Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's see what Shaka does. Oh, they went for that unit with everything. Okay, this, the trebuchet didn't attack, which is perfect. That is great. Let's go in here. It's under siege. Yes. This pike can do some damage. Is it worth attacking like this? This could be a mistake. We could attack with this one and it'll die, but then this thing would heal up. Or we could just pillage it and get some science. I think things are going okay now. This unit is 100% going to die. I'm hoping another unit doesn't die, and I hope this pikeman lives, because the pikeman with some other units should be able to take out the city. Oh, there's another, another barb camp. Oh, <gasps> it lived! How did that how did that unit live? That's perfect because then this the city didn't heal up. We could take it over. Done. Three turns for a rebellion. Ooh, that's kind of ridiculous. What's what's the biggest issue? Happiness level is minus three. There's any more we can improve this Mercury. Okay, yeah, we get this builder here. We'll improve the Mercury, that'll help things out. All right, I'm liking this. We only need two air score, which shouldn't be too hard to get. 
We didn't lose a unit. That's good. We we almost didn't lose a unit. I think we're about to though. Oops. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the way. Crossbow man, that's kind of ridiculous. We did get another governor title. Minus 5.5. We can get this down to one. So if we move Victor to Hokokia and then upgrade Victor with the Garrison Commander. And then move Liang to this city. Then it should be minus 1.1, you know, in three turns. Which is much, much better. Ooh. Kind of regret not getting the Yang. Oh, we got a free city. Perfect. Let's go ahead and keep this one. Okay, we can do this one. 18 immediate goal for one goal per turn. And let's upgrade this thing. The one man at arms. We need another one. And hopefully that'll be enough to, like, we can have our army up here and be a distraction. Well, we have our second army coming down and take this city over. Like, they're not even building walls down here. And they have their campus done. Hoo hoo hoo, yes. So now we need another 250 gold to upgrade this thing. And then we'll have pikemen and two men-at-arms, and that should be able to take out this city. As long as they don't get walls. Ooh. Yeah, we took some damage. But now, let's go. Boom, cross is done. Let's back up with our, our, our units because we do not want to lose our own units. That would just be so, so bad. We're bringing that one in as a little distraction. And the city's gaining loyalty, thankfully. 0.7. It's going to be a little while before it actually gets its building back and right now, or production back and stuff like that. They finished their walls. Let's just move in with these two things. We might be able to take down their walls, which would be really, really good. I think we might be able to take this one out. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. take that, Shaka. Let's see what Shaka does. Okay, they're kind of running away. Oh, we lost our pikemen. That's really, really bad. You know, found a bunch more cities. Yeah, we lost... We lost. So that was a big mistake. Aid request, sure. We brought in two of our units, a pikeman and a man-at-arms, towards this 10 population city to try to take it over. And then they built the walls, and then they, they just destroyed us. So, big mistake trying to do that. 10 results. We got to have Nida, right? One. No. No. Oh, goodness. It's all really bunched up. Oh, there we go. New Orleans. Pretty close. And then after that, it's pretty much nothing. Maybe we should buy a settler here and then settle the city down to the southeast over here. Get two sources of Nida. 100% production towards... Let's go for campus. Getting, like, our libraries. If we actually get this, we'll go we'll change up our technology. We'll go for universities then. Plus five combat strength. Uh, I'm going to go with range because we have a lot of range units right now. Probably melee will probably pass. It usually passes. Yeah, melee passed. Only two people have voted for melee. Oh, three people voted for melee. Okay. This one, campus. Whoa. All right, that changes things up. Let's go for education. And then once we get that, we will definitely start building universities everywhere. We could, like, it's just tricky because it's like the barbarians right there. Oh, man. We could just found it right here. Two gold, 33 gold, perfect. Let's get this campus. 150 gold. Boom, plus five campus. They actually don't hate us anymore. Holy smokes. Now we can, and we get the, this is perfect. We got the, the, the uh, military emergency, so we just got a ton of gold. Our economy's, economy's back on track. We can sell all this. And now we can actually buy some tiles in Washington. This one so they don't get it. This one. And this one. So now Washington can actually work some tiles. This is what I like to see. Whoa! No peace out with us. I don't think this is possible. And now... 171 gold for pillaging every one of these. I don't want this thing to die. We're moving this thing back. But we're definitely pillaging these things. Oh, 35 to attack that? <laughs> oh, yes. I think our economy is finally back on track. Like, we def successfully defended against Shaka, which is actually kind of uh, not easy. We could take this city over. I'd rather have us take it over than have Shaka get it. And then get this free builder next turn. <laughs> you know, we, we kind of turning the, like bad thing into a, more of a positive thing. This one does not. Four here, 16.1. 
All right, so we already know 8 plus 4 is the best we can do. Honestly, we still have all these uh, stupid policy cars in here. Let's just go ahead and raise the city. And now we can change up our policies to much better ones. Something like professional army and um, half upgrade costs for our units. Yeah. And we can bring our military. So we have three men in arms. We can build it down here. We can go after Indonesia. I guess we're still friends with them. 23 more turns. That's a lot of turns, honestly. But we can take over like Indonesia's lands pretty easily. They have no walls anywhere. Yeah, there's another city. 11 population city. Holy smokes. We should definitely take this one over first. Yeah, I think coming down and going after Indonesia and kind of working our way left would be really, really good. They do have this campus here. Plus one. Oh, that's really bad. This is probably a plus one. Also, they have some really bad campuses. In terms of our science, we're at 83. Zoo's at 128, 91 for Tamar, 77 for Indonesia, so we're definitely ahead of them. If you look at the technologies, 32 for Shaka, or 24, that's only 8, that's not too bad. 27 for Krishina, and 27 for Indonesia. There we go, governor title, finally. Reinforce materials, turn 145, must be a speed war running record. <laughs> now our capital is safe. We can go ahead and start building these improvements, and now they should not be pillaged anymore. I am building Warlord's Throne in our capital. I decided to build the government plaza up here. I, I wanted it in our capital because the production cost is so high for like the next few buildings. And you know, it's obviously not ideal because we can't, it's not next to any other districts, but you know, it's okay. We'll, we'll be okay. 390, let's go ahead and buy it, Faith. I do not want to not get this. Isaac Newton's great. Yeah, the next one's not as great. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> We can do it! Oh. Oh, wait. Never mind. We just have to buy. <laughs> we can honestly go to war with Milta. That could be okay. 100 fortification health. We can do that. Take over this city. Then we have a nice kind of like dropping point for the next, like these, this 12 population, 10 population. Kind of ridiculous. We do have to worry about 19 turns. We need a lot more error score. Let's just build Ampanata right there. Sure. So I think we have it figured out. I think how we're gonna get our air score. <laughs> if you can look right here, I believe it's a map tech. Cities place one of two tiles of a natural wonder, you get three air score. Additionally, if you finish a world wonder, world wonder completed, you get four air score. That's seven. We need one more, and I think hopefully our one more will be through Charles Darwin. It's gonna be close. I mean, 474 gold. That seems absolutely perfect. Then we can just buy, let's just buy a settler right here. And then we'll fawn the city down here for the air score. Let's go down here, and now it's under siege. Now we can attack. This is not gonna take very long at all. Campus is done in this city. Let's go ahead and use Newton. We're at 120.2 science. Up to 135.6. All right, we're almost a leader now. Shaka's still at 139. Probably do campus research grants here. 10 turns. We're gonna need all the campus research grants we can get. Oh man, we're gonna, need, we're gonna need all the help we can get down here. So many barbarians in the south. Or look at all these barbarians. This is kind of nuts. That's Pillages. 106 science, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This one's about to get a promotion, so let's just go ahead and take it over. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad we have all these other units here. Now we have a nice forward base against Indonesia. We still have, uh, what? Three more turns before we can actually denounce them and go after them. And Abadan is done in our capital. This gives us, what, two envoys? Eh, I mostly did it for the air score. This is crazy with all the volcanoes around here. Oh man, I would not want to go there. Can we sell stuff? Oh yeah. Ho oh, ho, 48 and 20? Ooh, yeah. Sweden, thank you. Does anybody want iron? Okay, there you go. Give you a little sympathy deal to Tamar. Because <laughs> they're at war with Shaka. Good luck. 201 to 404. Um, the good luck thing is because, you know, Shaka has cavalry and pike and shot. Oh, well, looks like they're taking some damage up here. Oh, no. No, no, not again. Crap. Please don't Shaka, of course. And Tamar. One, two. That's not enough close enough to the natural wonder. We bring this here. Is this thing just toast? Bring this back. I think this archer's toast. Let's go ahead and get Merchant Republic. Conscription would be good. 
Merchant Confederation. We want the Great Scientist points. Republican Legacy for the seven amenities. Let's go ahead. This is let's go ahead and lock this in. No! Oh, we lost the unit. We lost our settler. These barbarians are a pain down here. We can go to war with Indonesia. Germany, Germany will give us some nice, another luxury item, which you don't really need. Two Diplophator and 31 gold. And open borders. That was the important part of the deal. Make a colossal eruption. Industrial area. <laughs> it's a dark age. Ooh. That's definitely pillages. 172 culture. <laughs> We're getting 40 per turn. That'll help us out. And now, because basically I want to get the divine right for chivalry for the 50% production towards Corsairs. Oh, that's why we're fine. We're <laughs> in a dark age too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go for two arms. Sounds pretty good. There. We got it. We got our settler back. Yes. And we're 100% going over here. Fuel cannon for 155 gold. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But this one I also have two attacks against it, so I don't want to actually do anything. It does have tortoise. Okay, yeah, we can attack. We'll be fine. Maybe? <laughs> Unless they actually build some unit. Ooh, okay, that was close. Couple great general points. Ouch. Oh, promotion. Perfect. Amphibious. That's one exactly one we wanted to. Is this thing gonna kill our unit if we move it over here? I wanna find the city right here for the air score. This is this is justice. <laughs> This is, we're, we're paying them back. Oh, ho, 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 they tried. 95, let's do it. So 73, four hour score, yep. Totally would have nailed it. And let's get rid of this thing. Gone. You 100% need walls down here. Barding, oh, we have two Corsairs coming down here. <laughs> Indonesia does not know what's coming for them. We have two fuel cannons. We need to move this one back in the city. There must be a barbarian coming to the right. I do not like how they line infantry. And we lost one of our units. 63 they went up to. Another blizzard down there. And we lost a unit now. Man. Alright. <laughs> it's sometimes, sometimes a game. This is like, no. This is this is a pretty rough area, but look at this city. This is ridiculous. Oh, because they got line infantry. Oh, now they're no joke. Now right, let's see what Indonesia does. Seventy. Oh man, let's do steel tech boost, or let's do siphon funds because we need that one first anyways to get a promotion. Another eruption or capital doesn't matter. Siphon funds worked. Shaka gets the uh, additional trade route in. Nobel Prize passed. Okay. Let's see. Aid request. Yep, we're in the lead with one. <laughs> Got that going for us. Another crippling blizzard down to the south. I mean, we could try to start taking over this city. They do have fuel cannons too. Let's just attack this. Man, this got like tarred now. Another course here is going to be done in our capital. kind of wish this thing could be can move it over to the left or something. That would be ideal. Governor neutralize. Liang in Washington. That's the worst one. That's the worst thing that could happen to us. Because now like everything got pillaged and we lost our builder too. And it, wait, seriously? Not this again. Not this again. Oh, that Liang getting pillaged in there was like clutch by the AI. Oh, how do they know? 11 turns. Another wall. Another, wait, another barbarian encampment too. <laughs> Let's definitely pillage that. We're taking over the city. We're going for it. Like, we're going all in. We could attack here. Why not? That's not a great attack. I don't think they're going to attack our units. So I think we're kind of safe to do that. But now, ooh. We can take this city over. Hmm. If we take over this city, will we be able to keep it? I guess they are in a dark age. I mean, this is why we're playing the game, right? 62 turns, that's pretty good. 0.8, that's nothing. 
definitely keep this city. Let's go ahead and move you here. So this should give us a thousand, a thousand science. We got it. We got flight. Then radio's coming next. We got like flight and almost steam power. <laughs> that was crazy. There we go. We did it. That helps us out so much because we get error score for that. What do you get? Four error score. Like being a warmonger kind of pays off once in a while. We did figure out where aluminum was. Let me let me look. We're not friendship with Germany anymore. Let's go ahead and declare friendship with you. It doesn't look like we have any aluminum. Seven results. One. Oh, look at the city's the city's flipping. Three, four, five. Ah, I know why they moved their city over there. All right. Well, we are 100%. Can we found a city up here? Yeah. Well, let's found it right on the aluminum. By a settler. 100% going. This is right on the aluminum. I don't. I don't care. I don't want it to be pillaged. I don't want some like fire going through and wrecking our world. There's no point in going to war. No, no point in keeping the war with Indonesia right now for the next 10 turns. I think we can just peace out with you now. Well, let's do 100 gold. We'll take it. And let's go ahead and get advanced flight. We're buying bombers. 100% buying bombers. The only issue is we'll have only three aluminum. Actually, we could take over the city from Georgia. And then we'll have another one. So this is a great barrier reef. We'll buy a bomber, then we'll use it to attack this city. And then we'll have another source of aluminum. Oh, this is genius. This is diabolical. This is fun. Aid request. Hopefully everybody loves us now that we're at peace out with everybody. We, they, they, they love us. Everybody, even Tamar's at war with us, voted too. Hopefully they'll give us a lot of gold. All I want in this life. Going to a normal age would be totally fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a lot of movement. Almost should we wait to get our plane until the next era. I'm thinking we should. We should just wait. 5,200 gold? Oh, Shaka denounced us. One turn. We're going to a normal age. Totally fine. Let's see what the other AIs do. We have 3,000 feet. 6,500 basic gold. The map is back. A glorious yellow. <laughs> the yellow hue. We're not losing loyalty anywhere. We already got two air score. Because we finished our factory. It's two error score right off the bat. This one, I don't believe us gets this error score. Oh, yeah, it does. One error score for that. Over here, let's go ahead and buy P51 Mustang. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got a ton. Of, we're at 103 now. P51 Mustang use it as a weapon for the first time. Another two error score for that. And then five error score for the first flight. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's so much. And you know what we can also do? We can also just buy a bomber. Now they're in for a treat. And what else can we do? Woolen. We have six envoys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Peace out with them. We should have got more error score there too. Two error score. This one turn. That was a lot of error score. All right. Future Otter here. That's right. This is after the game. And did you just see what happened? We spent four grand on bombers and we still have like two grand left or something ridiculous. And it was all thanks to that aid request. But once you have bombers in this game, it is like game over. So we just took over all Indonesia cities. It did not really stand a chance. After that, we just declared war on Sweden. And uh, bombers are good. You know, that 74 combat strength city, walls done in one turn. Next turn, we took it over. And a few turns later, we just took everything, every one of Sweden's cities. And I found one, you know, we even found a nice one on the coast. But uh, I wasn't a big fan, so we raised it to the ground. After Sweden was done, we did a little colonial war on Germany. They actually posed a little bit of fight at the beginning. Because they had some initial, like, artillery armies and piking shots and stuff like that. But our P-51 Mustangs and bombers just took out all their units, like, pretty easily. After that, we eventually just took over their capital. The one thing that actually happened this game is the following turn after we took over Germany's capital. Shaka and Tamar declared joint war against me. <laughs> like, what? 
I have never seen that like happen in this game. They're they're a little angry. However, you know, we have bombers and uh Shaka just kinda fell down. Shaka did have some jet fighters and they did attack, but our P fifty one Mustang was on patrol and just destroyed them. <laughs> And then they didn't actually heal during the game. So he must not have had any aluminum or something like that. But after he peeled through Shaka's lands and got their capital, we just went straight for George's capital because I just wanted to get the game over with. And then on turn 275, victory. Oh, that was great. The best graph in here is actually the city's captured. <laughs> it's, like, it's like nothing. And then all of a sudden, boosh, a huge increase. But thank you for watching.